Good morning, gentlemen of the press. We've just concluded a sitting, an emergency meeting of the National Security Council, which was held at the behest of Mr. President. We've just concluded the meeting. And the meeting basically was to discuss recent happenings within the FCT and certain declarations and alerts coming from various quarters um, insinuating growing insecurity and threat to security within the FCT and environs. Before I round up, I want to call on the Chief of Defense Staff to say one or two things and then my colleagues to speak and then I'll round up. Thank you, CDS. Just to also indicate that as mentioned by the National Security Advisor, to use the opportunity to assure Nigerians that the armed forces, the police, and other security agencies are working around the clock to ensure that lives and properties of Nigerians are protected. And so far, there is no cause for alarm, and Nigerians should go about their normal duties as the armed forces and all the security agencies are well poised to protect them accordingly. Perhaps to use this opportunity to mention that I'm sure some of you may have seen in the media or amongst you that on 29th, the night of 29th October 2022, Wawa Cantonment in Niger State was attacked. And of course, the alertness of the troops led to the neutralization of the attackers and their vehicles that were laden with IED and other items were impounded and five of those attackers were equally arrested. Just to let you know, uh, to use that to let you know of the level of alertness of members of the armed forces, the police and other security agencies. Thank you. Okay, the, um, there's a, a foreign uh, dimension uh, to this issue, as alerts were obviously issued uh, by foreign countries uh, with missions here uh, in Nigeria. Uh, now, the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, as well as uh, the um, Nigerian Intelligence uh, Agency, have been working very closely uh, and um, to uh, fully um, get on top of the situation, uh, but also to engage uh, with our foreign partners. Um, first of all, to mitigate uh, and um, blunt any threat uh, that there could be from outside uh, the country, but um, also working with and engaging with the foreign missions uh, within uh, the country uh, to ensure that um, whatever we do, whatever we say, um, is constructive. And, um, and, and, and should not uh, in any way uh, cause unnecessary uh, alarm and in any way destabilize uh, the country. So uh, just to reassure um, the, uh, the, the country that uh, we are in full engagement uh, with uh, foreign partners uh, and, that, uh, and that the security, uh, our national uh, our security um, personnel and agencies uh, are fully on top uh, of, the, of the situation and that they're really, uh, as they have said, uh, there's really no cause for alarm. And uh, we want to push more for greater coordination and synergy uh, with uh, also our foreign partners and, uh, and, uh, and, and make sure that that uh, cooperation with them uh, is a constructive one and not an alarmist one. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, gentlemen of the press. Uh, normally, it's unusual for me to speak to the press. I don't do that. Uh, but this is, uh, uh, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs has said, um, has a great deal of foreign dimension. And uh, I'm here to join uh, in supporting what the Minister of Foreign Affairs has said, what the CDS has said, and what the NSA is going to say. And uh, this is to say that uh, Nigerians should uh, actually remain calm. Uh, situation is under control. There is nothing new. Uh, 
uh, and that, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs has said, we will continue. We will continue to engage our partners in the most constructive way. We are indeed actually expanding because this is the demand of the situation of, 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 of the current times uh, to engage, to expand partnership, foreign partnership, and to work with um, uh, countries, friends, uh, associates, and to deal with um, situations, challenges that actually are not common to Nigeria, uh, 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 cross-border issues, and uh, so that our country, our people should remain safe and uh, our region and uh, for also global peace and security. Thank you very much. All the citizens of this country that any exaggerated sense of insecurity, any hype about a disintegration of our security forces, intelligence agencies, is unfounded. I want to assure Nigerians that so far the situation has been under control. The intelligence and security agencies have made a lot of arrests. They're evaluating, they're exploiting all the materials in their possession. We are not in the habit of disclosing whatever has been done. But the most important thing is that from the time these stories started emerging until now, about a week to 10 days. You can see that so far the situation has been brought under control. The issue of Nigerians being made to panic is unnecessary. The situation in various areas of the Federal Capital Territory, the situation has been brought under control and we're trying as much as possible to work with our neighbors and within the domestic situation to work with our foreign partners in a responsible way without giving the impression that Nigeria is skating on thin ice and we're about to implode. That I would want to dispel any illusion about any sense, heightened sense of insecurity. It is false, it is irresponsible for anybody to give that signal. We are working with our foreign partners in a responsible way, and Nigerians should go about their normal daily undertakings without being put in a situation of fear. Thank you very much. But Nigeria has been engaged in an asymmetric conflict for quite a number of years and the arrests I'm talking about are not necessarily in relation to the alerts that were issued by the U.S. Embassy. These are uh, in relation basically to ongoing operations being conducted by the Nigerian Armed Forces Intelligence and Security Agencies. Now I mentioned that just to allay fears that these people, these organizations have continuously been on their toes, they've continuously engaged um, other entities, other groups, and this has resulted in arrest of several elements, not necessarily associated with this alert, but with the various cells in uh, different parts of the country. So this is just to illustrate the fact that the security agencies have been doing their work and there's no need for people to be made to panic unnecessarily. There was another question that someone asked. Yes, Sorry? Yes, but you don't expect me to divulge some of this information because these are ongoing investigations. People are being exploited, you know, in relation to um, the ongoing operations.
well, I, I don't know what the IG said, but I'm just telling you what I know as a national security advisor. The intelligence agencies, the defense and security law enforcement agencies have continuously made arrests. And it's not just a matter of the last two weeks or three weeks or two months. For, for the last you know, couple of years, they've been engaging uh, these entities and uh, they've been using every opportunity uh, to get as accurate a picture of the security situation as possible. Yemi, Yemi Duro, wait. <laughs> Yemi, the alert was targeted at the citizens of the United States residing in Nigeria in Abuja, not at the larger Nigerian society. Now, if that thing has cascaded to give a different impression, coloration. There's nothing anybody can do. The damage, whether it is intended or unintended, the damage has been done. People's minds have been you know, attuned to, to, to a state of insecurity, which is quite bad. You know, There's nothing we can do. If the US Embassy has gone out to give an advisory to its citizens and it has also affected other people. But what I want you to know is that the advisory was issued to their citizens. As far as we are concerned, our own citizens are not in peril. We've been sharing intelligence with not just the US, but with other partners. And we've been acting on the intelligence we've been working. Has anything happened so far? No, nothing has happened. But they went ahead to issue this advisory to their people. And of course, the connotations are there. They could have various reasons for doing that. This is the first time it is happening. Come on, this is the first time it is happening. We are also, I am not, I don't have that crystal ball to know what is working, you know, the workings of their mind, you know, but the truth is that the alert was for their own citizens. Probably the way it which, in which it was released became complicated at the end of the day. These are conjectures. There's nothing, you know, that is specific. You are right. You know, there will be a lot of interpretations of this alert. It is an unnecessary distraction. As far as we are concerned, the safety, the security of Nigerians is paramount. And as far as we know, there's nothing untoward so far. Nigerians should be allowed to go about their legitimate undertakings without being put in a tight spot. The country is safe, Abuja is safe, the security elements are doing the best that they can. That is the most important thing. I don't understand that question. We're actually talking about a specific issue here, you know. So that one is a different thing, what the Southeast governors are working on. Exactly. Mm. But so finally, to round up, 
we just want you to understand the situation. There is no need to, you know, aggravate a situation that is not that dire. Nigerians should please not allow themselves because at the end of the day, it will disrupt everything, economic, whatever, people going to school and so on and so forth. The important thing is for you to realize that that alert had a different purpose. Thank you.